Hey guys, Ramesh here and I'm back after a long time. So before starting this video, I'm in class right now. So please adjust background noise. And today I wanted to share some information to you guys. So today one company launched its smartphone in India. So before talking about the smartphone name and pricing, let us talk about the specifications. So the smartphone is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 712 processor and it has 5000 mAh battery and 32 megapixel in display punch hole camera and full HD plus display and triple rear camera 16 plus 8 megapixel wide plus 2 megapixel depth and the smartphone name is Vivo Z1 Pro yes it's Vivo smartphone I totally understand but let's talk about the pricing the pricing of 4GB and 64GB variant starts from 14,990 rupees. Surprised? I am totally surprised. So the highlights of the smartphone will be the Qualcomm Snapdragon 712 processor. So it was the first smartphone to have Snapdragon 712 processor in India and that too under 15,000 and also it has huge 5000 mAh battery but one thing to notice the micro USB yes it's vivo but vivo this time has provided the fast charge support yes 9 volt at 2 ampere so you can full charge this smartphone less than 2 and of hours yes I don't really have the smartphone I am telling based on the YouTube reviews so I just wanted to share this information to you guys you guys keep on asking best smartphone for 15,000 rupees in India. So I would I would normally suggest the Redmi smartphone or it is a Realme smartphone. But I never taken Vivo smartphone into the consideration. But days changed a lot. The now I am telling you guys you should go for the Vivo smartphone under 15k if you really want the performance and the battery life so the cameras on this smartphone are good enough but we cannot compare this cameras to Redmi Note 7 Pro I am not telling that Vivo Z1 Pro cameras are totally are totally waste or worse uh, it can be comparable to the Realme 3 Pro and the Redmi Note 7 Pro but it lags behind the Redmi Note 7 Pro for example if the quality of the Redmi Note 7 Pro is 100%, the Vivo Z1 Pro camera quality will be around 87%. Yes, not a huge change, but there is a change. And talking about the front camera, the front camera on Vivo Z1 Pro is 32 megapixels. So I guess the front camera on Vivo Z1 Pro will be good than Redmi Note 7 Pro and Realme 3 Pro. And also the huge 5000 mAh battery will last you day long and the performance yes definitely Vivo Z1 Pro smartphone will perform better than Redmi Note 7 Pro smartphone and Realme 3 Pro smartphone and that's all and only one thing I noticed with the Vivo Z1 Pro will be the polycarbonate body that's disappointing and also the micro USB and also the fun touch OS so apart from these three if you want the best performance smartphone and the bat best battery life smartphone you can go for the Vivo Z1 Pro or if you really want the best build quality and the best camera you can go for the Redmi Note 7 Pro and if you want the fast charging and if you want the performance and uh, if you are a Realme fan and do you like the faster updates on Realme smartphones then you can go for the Realme smartphone. So that's all for today. So I really wanted to share information regarding Vivo Z1 Pro smartphone with you guys. So I decided to make a video on Vivo Z1 Pro. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, so keep on subscribing. So I haven't uploaded a single video from last 5 months I think. But you guys are very awesome. You keep on increasing my subscriber count. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching. So I am thinking to start a new series daily tech updates from our channel so if you guys are interested you can comment below and that's all for today hope you guys like this video and goodbye and take care and have a nice day